and we are off for our noon walk well currently it's 10 30 ish these are fui the bees the bees are outside working hard yeah you know in the morning was as i said before it was minus one currently it's already plus 11 so most likely in the afternoon we could once again have you know plus 20 Lizzie Pretty Yeah, I have my jacket on but it's unzipped in the front Because um, it's a little bit it was a little bit windy previously And we are planning to go um, On let's say walk around between the buildings you know where it's a little bit shady with shady I mean there is more shade not that there is anything dangerous or suspicious Lisa and usually there is a little bit more colder than like here on this sunny side Lizzie yo I don't know where she's going So, if you are, uh, let's say, let's talk about um, regarding the heat. Usually, in, you know, in the summer, around, you know, 5, between 4 and 5 p.m., you will get, um, let's say, the daily extreme level of, you know, heat. and then it will start slowly dropping down but you uh, know because we are living in the city all the buildings you know the roads the pavements not enough trees not enough greenery you know basically all the let's say artificial material or even you know like um, stone we lacked uh, as a additional heat supply you know and even you know with um, vehicles driving you know the friction that everything all of this you know increases the temperature or let's say how fast the temperature is dropping or is not dropping i still remember about 10 15 years ago when it was very hot uh you know we had 40 plus degrees celsius for several days in a row and in the evening, you know, around 9 You could actually see, you know the heat emanating from the pavement You know, you know, like uh, basically the, si uh, the sites that you see in, let's say, Sahara Desert you know, like almost like a heat mist and you know that was in at 9 a.m uh, 9 p.m 9 in the evening you know if you would put at that time you know or during the day you know your hand your palms on the pavement you know you would get burned so yeah i remember that you know those days um you know with tj we couldn't actually went for a walk until much later you know 10 11. 
темноте. And of course we always check, you know, with our hands, the palms, if, you know, the state, the temperature of the pavement, you know, before we actually went outside of the, the yard, the gate, you know, if we could, you know, have our hands on the pavement for extended period it was fine also for TJ of course you know we also used um, protection cream on his paws you know to prevent uh, any further dehydration correctly cracking construction or repair train going past Jogapa so the abbreviation Jogapa oh stands for Zelezniško Gradbeno Podjetje which means railway construction company we'll be back oh Okay, we have made deposit. Luckily, she made it here. She went number two, where there are, let's say, two public trash bins. You know, one here and one as part of the bus stop. And basically, if you go in this direction, where we will, we will be going. There are no more public trash cans, trash bins for quite some time of course you can then basically seek the communal you know the black one but yeah you know some parts of Ljubljana which are you know even though they are quite um, used by people for walking they lack you know fresh beans but yeah so regarding you know Lisa's uh, paws soles of her paws um, you know uh, she has let's say more tougher soles than TJ had um, well at least now so far um, we, we didn't see any, you know, uh, cracking or, let's say, signs, other signs of dehydration. But yeah, TJ sometimes, you know, on her, on the edges of his um, soles, you know, the individual pads, you would see quite a lot of cracking. But yeah. This is why, you know, during the, as I said before, when it, when, when during the day we have more than 20, 25 degrees, you know, and then we also consider, you know, if there, is, if there is any wind, okay, it's a little bit fine, but if there is no wind, um, no air movement, no breeze then it's of course even the lower temperature is let's say unbearable and we stopped going for our noon walks okay with me in Austria this will also prevent me going on a noon walk with Lisa but yeah uh, she's spotted Lizzie took Grima. She is in her fighting mode, as you can see. This is her fighting. Liza, pretty some. Oh, she's pumping. And she's your. Uh. And when the other dog, you know, barked or made the noise, she went, you know, her moto, moto is, you know, 
a good defense is a uh, what is it i should know a good defense is a good and now i cannot remember what is the exact wording of you know good defense is a better offense is that yeah you have to check but yeah let's continue our walk 